All right, folks, y'all remember the little house built? Yep, that pine tree wasn't there. We went to ATA up in Indianapolis this past week and uh, had a tornado come through. And I think it's seven trees that I'm fixing to have to move. It, it tore down a bunch back here and around the other side, tore the power lines down, snapped some power poles off. Got one of them hanging on the service coming into the house now. I've got to get the old oil down here and start working. But the only thing that it damaged is it bent the tin that was overhanging up here. It bent it up pretty good. So about probably three sheets. I'll probably have to replace about three sheets or try to straighten those out right there. But being on a new house, I'll probably end up just replacing that right there. But I'll show y'all around here on the front. But yeah, those are those are good sized pine trees too. But I'll uh, I'll cut those into logs and I'll get uh, you know I'll get some lumber out of them on the sawmill. Do something those big root balls. Got the septic system right here, so we have to be careful, you know, not to run over the field lines and everything. But got some more around here on the side. Got some out here in the front. Yeah. But you can see them on the other side on the next door neighbor's property. It 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 came right through here, just right through here. Oh, I think you said it was a EF1. So 90 mile an hour winds. Got a bunch of trees down in there. I'll probably leave those. It's gonna be hard to get in there to them. I got that one hanging on the service right there. So I'm fixing to. Uh, it's a wonder it didn't snatch that off or snatch the transformer off that big pole out there. But the, the lines were hanging in the road. I mean, it was a mess. Out of power for a while. Did you see it? Boy, let me tell you what, that wind is something else. So what I'll do is take the lull and pull that whole root ball up and get it out of here. And then cut the logs off of it once I get that root ball up. It'll use the way to the end of the tree to keep it on the forks just snatch that whole thing up and then cut logs out of it take them cut them on the meal y'all hang in there though i got a lot of stuff to do <laughs> clean up Ooh, love it we're gonna get it though make it look good again right. we got the we got a tree on the service line coming into the coming into the house right here so I picked it up and I'm gonna cut it back here and see if I can get it to teeter that way. How it didn't tear the transformer off the pole right there, I have no idea, but it, it did get the neighbors. It just snapped the pole off on that one. So uh, let's see what we can do real quick.
up the video still got to get up there and work on that metal a little bit may just replace it probably three sheets where it bent just the end of it right there not too bad but new house you know anyhow got a little bit of a little bit of limbs and about 50 trillion pine cones to rake up but got everything looking good there was a tree there tree there well, there was, what, three in the back, I think, and four in the front, and one on the power line. Got them all out. Got it cleaned up. Got them loaded on the trailer, fixing to chain it down, haul them to the house, kick them off, and uh, cut them on the mill. Got those ones in the middle, 25 foot. I'll cut those in half and get 12 foot six out of each one. Pretty good little load of logs. I mean, you know, they'll make something anyway. They'll make one by eights, tens, and some of them will make one by twelves or two bys, whatever. But got it cleaned up. Got the got the tree off the light off the service line coming in right there. Got it looking good. Thanks to that machine right there. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Appreciate y'all.